Welcome to our May 2013 issue of Innovative Small Business Magazine, where we continue our mission of helping small business owners reach their success goals. In this month's Editor's Choice, we focus on the most important thing to every business, cash. It's no accident that the term cash is king has been around forever. Without cash, a business simply disappears. You can be profitable, but if your cash isn't there, uh, you'd simply close down. It's really very simple. Try uh, not paying your employees on Friday and telling them I ran out of cash. Can you come back Monday anyways? You know, Call your landlord up and say, hey, I don't have any cash, but hey, I made a ton of money. It's just my customers haven't paid me or it's all in receivables or I'm making big note payments. That's a sure recipe for disaster. I've seen companies be profitable and have run out of cash go out of business. And I've seen companies that are losing money but have a good cash balance or a decent cash flow stay in business. So. In this magazine, we, 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 we uh, focus on how to get the cash into your business, and, and really one of the main articles in the feature article talks about how to improve the business cycle while dramatically, how improving the business cycle will dramatically increase your cash balance. And what we're talking about is the business cycle is literally when the money comes in, when you take the order, all the way to delivering it, invoicing it, and getting the money at the end. And truthfully, this is where I see most of the problems in cash flow happening other than not having enough sales. I'm assuming you have enough sales, all right? If not, we got a sales one next month and we've done a ton of marketing, but go look at some of our past magazines. But assuming you have enough sales and you still don't have cash, it's somewhere in that sales cycle. It means you're not delivering the product quick enough, you're not running the order fast enough, you're not invoicing fast enough, you're uh, not collecting fast enough. And we go into a ton of information on this one article. Be sure to look at the video that we do for that one too. The second article in our feature article sections, in our feature sections, is finding and keeping the cash in your business. This one we go through quite a few different ways. If you're in a cash crunch, how to quickly get cash um, and how to keep it there. The third thing I go over, and be sure to watch the screen capture on this one, is why I love my budget. Now, nobody loves their budget, but I, you know, if you use it correctly and don't just assume that it's an accounting tool, you know, it's something my bookkeeper worries about or something my CPA worries about. It can be a fantastic management tool, and I run my business basically using that. It definitely helps me get motivated, too, because it's easy to get motivated if I see that you know, if I don't sell, we're going to have a cash crunch in October. If I know that in May, February, March, then I know I can start planning for it. It's, all, it's never a good idea to find out you need cash when you're going to go right to checks. And finally, what we throw in here is a simple cash flow worksheet that any business can use quickly, even either themselves or uh, give it to their bookkeeper and have it and prepare it for you once a month. It's a simple one-page format that, uh, that I give you. Um, these are a really great tool. I mean, that's a really great tool that you should use. Also on this issue, we have a bunch of other articles that are designed to fulfill our main concept of the magazine, which is good ideas plus action equals massive profits. So be sure to check out how to focus on your most profitable customers. Um, that's a quick way to, to put money in your bank, which is to sell more to your profitable customers. Um, the marketing mistakes that just about every business owner is make. Uh, you know, sadly, I've made just about all of them in my career. Hopefully, if you know about them in advance, you won't have to do the hard work and waste of money and time that I've done. Um, collecting your receivables in three easy steps. Collecting receivables is n not collecting receivables is the number one reason businesses have cash flow problems. So here we give you three easy steps. Pretty simple. Time tested. Trust me, they work. I've done them myself a ton of times and I've done them with clients of mine a ton of times. Fourth, you know, we have another article making sure all your products are cash cows. And, uh, you know, that's important too. I mean, uh, it's amazing how many times I've seen companies that are having a cash problem and when we get down to it, they're selling a product at a discount that they were barely breaking even on to start with, so now they're selling more items at a loss. Um, we talk about how to identify which products are, are your cash cows and how to make sure you sell those and concentrate on those. Um, there's many, many other articles for a business builder that help them increase their profits. So. Um, don't forget this month's homework. I realized uh, we missed a couple because they haven't had the right link or something. We'll fix that and we'll announce. I'll send out a link, send out a, a blurb to you guys saying, hey, they're back up. We should be in the next couple days. But this one for sure will have the homework. So be sure to look at it because it's on the last page of every homework. Because remember, this magazine is designed as a do-it-yourself consulting tool. And what you're basically after is we give you the, the idea, which is the article, and then we give you the action steps, which tell you how to implement the article, which is the action. The idea plus action equals massive profits. 
Finally, uh, next to the video here, the one you're watching, there's three buttons. If you're not a subscriber, tap on subscribe and help us continue to do the work we're doing right now to help small businesses succeed. Hey, we'd love to have you rate us, especially if it's a five star, you know, and we'd love those. So feel free to rate us. If you don't think it's worth a five star, give us a chance to fix it. Hit the contact button and send us an email. Tell us what we're doing wrong or what you would like to see us do that we're not doing. Um, anyways, until next month, thank you for your continued support and let's make this year our most profitable year ever. Thank you again.